We're back with another one. It's Industries TV. I'm your host, Zanaria Bones. We in Alabama with it. We got Jack Boy two times. What up, Jack Boy? How you doing? For sure, man. I'm locked in, though, for sure, for real, for real. I'm doing good, though, man. First of all, I want to thank you for allowing us to pull up on you for sure. and chop it up with you. For sure. And for starters, where did you get Jack Boy two times from? How did that become you? I mean, that shit like. I don't know. I like for there two times, so that was the two time came from, for real, for real. But like the Jack Boy part, it's like first name started with J. And see, I couldn't come on on that name, so I just said Jack Boy. I said, just said, fuck it. Jack Boy two times. And then the people call you Jack Boy? Yeah, everybody call me Jack Boy. They're like, shit, they don't even call me by my real name. That's how I know if you're right, you know me. Like, you feel me? They're gonna call me by my real name. But other than that, like Jack Boy. Like, everybody call me Jack Boy. Where you from? Bessemer. From like where we at right now? On yeah. the south side? The one I'm from, like the project, right? Like all that. Oh, okay. So, so uh, you came up here as a little boy and you been here all your life? Yeah, I've been down here since I was like three. Shit, I went to um, elementary school right there at Hard. And I've been here ever since. Shit, 21 years for real, for real. Oh, that's a bit. <laughs> you just dropped, well, how old are you? 20. 20? Okay. Well, it's like, you feel me, finna be 21, so you feel me, like... He finna be legal soon. <laughs> so you feel me? Might as well say 21, yeah. So you drop some music, uh, some stuff on YouTube, and you got some freestyles on Instagram. I was looking on Instagram, like, I was like, where the links at, bro? I wanna yeah. hear all of this, bro. Um, I don't but... be dropping a freestyle like that. Everybody be saying, like, drop this shit, like, you need to drop this shit. At first, I ain't even wanna just be, like, no rapper, for real. I ain't wanna be no damn rapper. I just, I like music though, you feel me, like, I like the, the, the rhyming, like, you feel me, like, rhyming shit, cause I used to fuck with the poetry shit, feel me? but, like, at the same time, they, like, they were, like, be you hard, they kept saying that shit, like, I would be chilling somewhere, like, it just be chilling, listening to some music, they were, like, oh, yeah, boy, you rap too, don't it, they were, like, yeah, boy, let me holler at you, you feel me, and I got that pulled to the side, we like, bro, you harder than what you will, bro, niggas, they telling me that shit, like, you feel me, so that's why I just, stick to it, you feel me, I ain't never got no no negative feedback or nothing like that, so it like that would make me want to do it for real, for real. So So you starting off with poetry, then transitioning to um like rapping, then getting yeah. in the booth. When did you start off like writing stuff down? I mean, I ain't never wrote nothing down for oh. real, for real. I mean, but like I might say some shit that's like five fuck and I might just write that shit down to like my phone or something so I can remember that shit, like you feel me? Like that was a fire bar. Like you feel me? Cause like it'd be different shit. I might say some off the wall crazy ass shit, you feel me? That shit, it just be like that, you feel me? But like, got down, but as far as like, language though, like grammar, like I had like A in grammar though, you feel me? Like that was my favorite subject, like, like literature, all that shit, like you feel me? I studied all that shit. And then like, reading a dictionary, I used to be on punishment a lot, you feel me? <laughs> like, you feel me? All I had was a dictionary in my room, like you feel me? No TV, no nothing. A basketball and a dictionary. Like, I could spend a basketball on my hand, like, for so fucking long. I'm just sitting here, just doing this shit for so long. Cause like, you to be in that bitch, just looking at the one to read it down dictionary. Basically. That's where a lot of crazy words come from, too. I know, like, like my vocabulary expanded, though. Shit crazy. Yeah, your bars definitely do stick out. You said something like, uh, what, what did you say? You said, what you know about sitting in a trap? Can't even adapt to know I was getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, so some of your music is Vanessa, Big Jack Boy, No Hook 2, Southside Baby, Can't Hang, and you got a couple of more. Who is some of the people that um, influence your music? Okay, like, for one, see the, like, the number one, like, out of everybody, for real. I fought with Finesse two times, though, because I feel like he righteous slip on, though. Like, his bar, like, it be over the roof, for real. Like, I don't even mean, like, to say, like, over the roof, like, like, this shit just hard, like, in a way. But it's like, it, like, 
it be it like it's a two way meaning to every one of them. Like you feel me? He might say some shit and it might mean this, but if you say it again, you might hear something else. You feel me? But the same sentence. You feel me? So that's what like he was a big influence. And um, I fought with Hood with Paulo One at one point in time, but like. I used to listen to this shit every day. That shit, I, I got burnt out on that shit, though. I seen you tag a couple of artists in your posts, like Dolph, Young Dolph, Queen of Fiends, Stalita, Rallo, Interscope Records. Um, so, do some of these people you mentioned influence you in a lot of ways, too? I mean, yeah, I fuck with Queen of Fiends. I fuck with him. Bro, hard, too. He was slip on at one point in time, though. I was on that music at one point in time for you, like, Ratchet Blow. Him and Splur, I used to fuck with Splur hard too. But like, I out of like paper route, I fuck with um, uh, Fields it though. I fuck with Fields. I went down and we did some shit. But we ain't right to just like, you feel me? Like, drop, drop, but you feel me? Like, he a real nigga though, I'm God, fuck with brother. Like, you want him? I'm God. So I know that you said, uh, like, when it comes to you writing, you may put something in your notes that stick out to you. But like, what is your process of music like prior to you going and recording it and putting up in the studio? Like, what does all that look like? And then while you in the studio, how long does it usually take you to lay something down? I mean, it really it depends on how long the beat is for real. It's like if the beat three minutes, it might take me four minutes plus ad libs and shit. So it's like three four minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, like the process, like I pull up, boom. I might tell the producer, like, pull up my email, load up some beats, you know what I'm saying? He load the beats up, he just start, you feel me, got them, we going through the whole, like, you feel me? Like, everybody in that big vibe in their head, you feel me, fucking with this shit, I'm like, alright, load that shit up, you feel me? Got down, listen to some more, probably load by two, three on them up. Everybody rolling up, shit, we smoke. I ain't got to get high to rap, though, but you feel mm. me? We just smoke, though, you feel me, like, kid the vibe, smoke, boom. Shit, go and lock in, you feel me? That's it. Shit, but it be a vibe though, you feel me? Like, so much shit be going on. Like, we don't even be focused on, like, music all the time. Like, you feel me? I done hung around, like, a lot of big artists, too. Like, and we don't even be on the music type time. Like, you just be, like, real people. Like, you feel me? Like, just vibe for real, for real. Do they give you, some of these people that you hung with, do they give you critique to your music? What you mean? Uh, like... Do they uh, tap in with you? Do they comment on your music? I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, sometimes. I mean, sometimes I don't be seeing it. Sometimes they do those. Sometimes they repost it or something like that. I just had to catch it for real. How do you expect, or yeah, how do you expect your music to push outside of places like Alabama? Are you, like, do you want to reach Texas? Like, do you have a goal and a height with your music? Yeah, I want it to be global for real. Like, but at the same time, you just gotta build you up some for real, for real. See, I'm really, see, I really like how I was doing this shit. Just taking it, like, you know what I'm saying, baby stuff. Cause that shit is tiring as hell, like, you feel me, going back and forth. Like, once you get that shit going, like, you gotta drop songs there, there, and shit like that, you feel me? I ain't really wanna do that shit cause of the work effort, you feel me? But you gotta have money to do that shit too, though, you feel me? So, like, out of all that, for real, for real, like, yeah, I really, I really want to do it now, like, you feel me? Because I feel like it's going to be worth it, for real. It's going to be worth money spent. So, like, yeah. It definitely is going to be worth it, um, worth it. So, how long, like, how long have it been? i seen, like, a couple of stuff on Instagram, but, like, how long have you been rapping? Mm hmm Like, okay, I want to say, like, 2018, that's when I, like, I kind of like, okay, I started putting shit on the internet, like 2018. But I wasn't really serious though. I was in, in and out the studio though, you feel me? But I wasn't really dropping that, you feel me? Like, I might drop an audio, I wasn't dropping no video. So I believe like when I started dropping video, that's when I turned serious. So that was like, that was like 2019, 2020, in between now. Okay, what your numbers looking like on YouTube and Instagram? I mean, they still got a climb though, but like the most I didn't got like twenty six k or something like that. Twenty six k. I mean, it be different. No, many different song though. I mean, but it, I believe it's just the video for real, and the song that like the song that I'm holding, like the only ones I need to drop for real. The only ones they gonna go. You feel me? When can we? 
when can we expect this? Uh, like when do you plan on dropping something? Something else. Oh, this whole, this whole year, I'm going crazy. Like the whole month after this month over with. Like after this month over with, y'all might get ready. This shit here going crazy. Like after this month over with, this shit going crazy. I'm talking about a foot on the neck. I'm talking about I ain't that no. Can't let up. Do you know uh, like TLE? Them people, them yeah. artists. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cause uh, like TLE Cinco and Big Yavo, TLE Petty, they all got that bass drum in the beginning. Yeah. That's, that bass drum shit hard though. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you actually rapped on one of those beats, so uh, I was just curious if that was like an Alabama thing, but you said specific. I mean, it it depends though. I mean, like everybody may be different though. I mean, cause you might get some wack ass beats though. Like you feel me, but. I mean, it was really okay. I'm gonna just put it like this. Boom. So, Fano started that shit for real. And Barriado, they started that shit. They started that, 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 that beat shit like that. Mm -hmm. That beat dropped like that. Yeah. They started that shit, you feel me? But, like, you know, when you go on YouTube, you're gonna see a lot of tight beats, you feel me? And a tight beat, that's just like a remake of somebody be using they like a like instruments, you feel me? So they like try to get it close to that beat as possible. So they really kind of copied that shit, but shit, they perfected that shit and that shit hard, so I fought with it though, you feel me? Like somebody said to his example, she take out with it. Hey. Who produces uh, your music? Uh, it was Lamar Gidell at one point in time though. I mean, but they were like, wow, I bet though. I mean, that when I first started out, that's what I first started out with though. Like, he would be down there in Lilson, like, where we at, it would be like, like, five minutes down the street, like, feel me, for like, we even, well, I'm like, you good. Alright, all right, all right, so it would be like, got yeah, down, like, five minutes down the street and shit like that, like, shit I can walk to, for real, for real. Yeah, then he had that shit in the house, like, how we sitting there? Like, shit was in the house, like, okay, for like, right there, to about right there, be the boo, shit, like, big head. Oh god, that shit was five fuck too on oh god. Like he had that sound in. You feel me? Like he had he like he started that shit too, like you feel me? Like he started his own sound with that shit too. And he took out with that shit though. And he can rap too, that nigga hard. Oh god, that shit crazy. A lot of fuck don't know that. That shit crazy. But that's who started me out though. Like you feel me? He got me right in the studio. He made me wanna do that shit. Do you know uh producer uh Crispy Cam? Yeah. Yeah, I see that he produced a lot of stuff for people out here in Alabama. Yeah, he hard too. He hard. Do you got some people that you would like to work with uh, in the future? To my life, as far as like cameraman. Um, more so like artists, like to artists. be featured on a song, maybe or a collab. Uh, I gotta get some man with Quinn up, and I gotta get some man with Bro. Uh. I gotta get some in with Honeycomb too. And then after that, shit, probably get one in with Big 30. And then, by that, I don't even, I don't even keep the collab for real. Oh yeah, and Kodak, I gotta get one with Kodak. Bro. So your cameraman, uh, the people who did your uh, recent videos, or the videos that you have dropped, who did that for you? Uh, my partner, Gualo. Like, he hard to fuck too. Okay, are you looking to expand with other cameramen? Yeah. I want to get some man like with Lyric Eliminate or somebody like that. Or somebody like, uh, now nah, Brian, now nah, Brian Hard to fuck too. We put the Ben did something though, I just ain't never lock in though. Like, I got to get a fire song for him. I got to make some shit specifically for him. Like, specifically, like, he gonna be the only one that gonna do this video. That the only reason I ain't lock in yet. Cause I want some shit like, like, Everybody they gonna do a video for me, they gonna have a specific song, like, you feel me? Cause I already know how they work, man, cause I already been looking at them. So, that's how they go.